Hey folks, this is Ben from Road to VR, and I am here at GDC 2015 at the Razor booth, and we're here with Yuval from Sensex, uh, who is of course part of the OSVR project. Um, so today, uh, you guys are showing uh, a bunch of new partners. Uh, what are the, some of the cool things that we have here uh, that are now integrated with the OSVR SDK? So uh, since our launch at CES uh, about two months ago, we now have about 50 partners. We support, uh, I think close to 20 different head-mounted displays, uh, which means that uh, if you build a Unity project, you drag in a configuration file for a head-mounted display, and you're done. I mean, the same Radial G that you see here running on the background runs on the Vuzix booth right over there. Uh, it was a couple hours effort just to get it done. So, th so that's exciting. Uh, we're showing uh, new content partners, uh, games, we're showing positional audio, we're showing uh, um, other than additional HMDs, you know, additional input devices. So the list of partners is growing and uh, is con going to continue to grow over the next few months. And the whole idea here is that anybody can come and be a part of this, right? Can support the OSVR SDK? Yes. I mean, it's, a, it's an open source project. Everyone can be a part of it. We work with our partners to define the types of interfaces. So for instance, an eye tracking interface or a uh, hand and uh, finger tracking interface. And then people write to that interface, and as soon as they do, if an application so, uh, uh, so could support one product, it supports all the others. So it's great that you could sort of mix and match the configuration to your liking. So I saw over there the Nod Ring, which uh, is kind of a gesture input device, and then you also have the Leap Motion. Um, so with the one with one system of control in there that has already been written, are those two different peripherals supported through the same thing, or uh, how does that work? Um, so the Nod Ring is essentially an orientation tracker, at in terms of the orientation tracker interface, just the orientation of your hand or finger. Uh, Leap is a more sophisticated interface because, yes, it has hand position and orientation, but it also has uh, finger gestures and uh, skeleton interface. So in, in a sense, Leap is supported through multiple interfaces, just like you might have a combination printer scanner that's both a printer and a scanner the Leap uh, in implements several interfaces. And so you guys have announced uh, some changes to the latest, uh, the HDK. This is the, the hacker dev kit that's going to be coming soon. Uh, can, can we look at the unit here and can you tell me a little bit about what's new? Um, up a little bit? Sure, so a couple of things. First, the uh, face split is removable. I mean, it's basically uh, two screws here and a magnetic cover comes off. And we've shown some prototypes here of faceplate with cameras, faceplate with uh, IR markers, so anyone can take and make their own version of the faceplate, and we look forward to a lot of innovation around peripherals on that. Uh, we've improved some of the mechanics here. Uh, these are knobs that you can use to adjust the, these are knobs that you can use to adjust the IPD as well as the focus, and people with glasses uh, or other imperfect vision really like it because they can get a, a wonderful image. Not only are our optics good, but you can also adjust them to the best interface. Uh, we're showing uh, some units with an OLED screen inside, so uh, higher contrast, faster response time. Uh, so in, in a couple of months, you know, the unit has come uh, a long way. And so one of the appeals of the OSVR uh, HDK is that it's supposed to be kind of modular and hackable and you can do whatever you want with it, um, and um, OSVR won't care. So, in terms of swapping the screen out for the, the older version, the LCD for now the OLED, was that as simple you know, as just kind of opening it up, plugging in a new screen? It, it was very simple. I mean, every screen has a slightly different connector. There's a connector adapter board that you need to do for every screen just to physically match it, and then a couple lines of software, and the screen came up. So, it was a uh, uh, it was a nice effort and uh, not a very uh, difficult one. And so if people are interested in being part of OSVR, uh, what should they do? Uh, they should go to OSVR.com and uh, click the Join button and sign up. I mean, we're accepting partners of all stripes and uh, looking to grow the ecosystem. Great. Well, thank you so much, you all. Appreciate it.